always been kind of afraid of heights. It's not a debilitating thing, but it's always very uncomfortable, you know, and it's not necessarily a fear of heights as much as it, as it is a fear of falling. And this past week, I had an opportunity to work on that. A roof was just reshingled at the house, and, and uh, as part of the work, they needed my opinion on a couple of things, and so I climbed up this rickety aluminum ladder and got up there with, uh, there's about four or five guys working up there on the roof. I talked to them about what needed to be fixed, and we took care of that part, and then it came to the, the coming down off the roof part, and you know, the, the ladder joined the roof at about, it was about 12 or 14 feet in the air, and so I was kind of backing down the slope and, and trying to figure out how I was going to get on this ladder without falling to my death, kind of. And as I was struggling and obviously looking quite ungraceful, I heard behind me with a little bit of a Mexican accent the words, no fear. And I, I turned and looked and it was uh, a young man, probably in his early uh, 20s, who um, had seen me kind of look uncomfortable and uh, was trying to calm me down. I said, excuse me? He said, no fear. I said, oh, that's interesting, no fear. And so he then, he kind of came around me and he goes, okay, put your left hand here, put your foot here, swing this foot around. He kind of showed me, because I show you. And uh, he made it look so easy. I said, okay, I think I can do this. And once I knew the kind of the moves to make, getting on the ladder to, to climb down was not that big a deal. So went down, went inside, and uh, went about the rest of my business that evening. And uh, as I was going to bed, I kind of started to think, you know, there's something in this, this kind of, uh, I mean, I've never fallen off of a roof, so why would I be afraid of falling? But you have this kind of uh, idea that something bad could happen, and it, and it actually changes your behavior. Um, so I thought, there's some something deeper than just the no fear. There must be something more to that. Where did this boy hear this? Where did, uh, and how did he knew, know to give me those two words just at the right time to help me out? So the next day, they were still working on the roof. And this time, I went up with my camera, and I uh, found the kid, and, and um, uh, his name was Alan. A-L-A-N, Alan Ortiz. And his dad was the foreman of the roofing crew. And so I asked his dad's permission if I could maybe film Alan and talk to him a little bit. So I said, said Alan, can I, can I talk to you about what you said yesterday? Could you explain to me the no fear? It's like driving, like they oh, they, they could the car come in. You gotta know that it's on its lane, right? It's not gonna get you. It's just like, just pretend you're walking on flat. They're flat, you know how everybody know, walking like they're scared. So you just pretend like it's flat. Yeah. Just, you know, don't walk like this. Just ah, that's yeah. Like, that's a key to everything. Just don't be scared, and then you can do it. And you're not that's scared. Like, nah, not really. I was right. The no fear was not just about uh, being afraid of being on a roof. It had a lot deeper meaning, both to Alan and also to me. So what you're saying about the word fear. If you understand it, there's no limits at all. The only yeah. limits are. Yeah. Fear really is the thing that inhibits us, it keeps us from reaching our dreams. If we make fear-based decisions, uh, we often end up falling way short of where our potential is. Uh, versus if we make a decision uh, without fear, the, the result is often quite different. It's the end, it's not the stuff, it's not the uh, how many chickens or how big the yard or anything like that. It's just you get up in the morning and you're excited about your life. That's, that's what's important. So you learn how not to be scared up here, yeah. and then you go out and so in about 15 minutes, applying this idea of no fear with the help of this young man allowed me to walk on the roof with little to no fear. It was a pretty amazing transformation. This is something I've been terrified of most of my life. And something had changed inside me. I went back on the roof later that week. And it was a completely different experience. I kept remembering what Alan had told me to just walk as if I was on the ground, to have no fear. And then I started thinking, what if the rest of my life were like this? What if every day when I woke up, I started out with the idea of no fear and made decisions from that place? What an amazing gift each day would be if we truly had no fear. Butterfly